Good morning. Yesterday we got into Morgan Field about two. I uh, checked into a motel that we thought we were going to be staying at. Um, dropped some of our stuff off and then went out to go check on the camper. Uh, everything seems fine with the camper except for a little uh, a little wear in one of the corners of, uh, of the canvas that covers it. Um, there wasn't any snow on the ground. Uh, today that's kind of a different story. We've got some snow on the ground. It all started last night about 10 o'clock. So we thought we were going to stay at this little uh, motel. It was like the only motel that we could find uh, with any vacancy. But once we got in there we found that there were some creepy collies in the beds and uh, we decided that that wasn't for us. So right then and there we started looking for more housing. We just happened to look on Google Maps and found this really cool place. Um, it's got about eight to ten cabins, a um, little town called Sturgis. So that's where we're staying. We're in uh, one cabin and the kids are in another cabin. Um, they each have kind of a little kitchenette deal. They all have uh, hot showers and bathrooms. So it's good enough for now. It's so anyway, the owner, he has a double wide trailer that he's going to rent out to us. Uh, so it looks like that's probably where we're going to be staying for the rest of the time while we're here. He did say um, that if we like, we can get our camper from where it's at over in Moffat Lake and uh, bring it over here and park it right next to the double wide if we like. That way we'll have a little bit more extra room and uh, I can even work on it if I want to. So the temperature right now is one degree, maybe zero. Yeah, it's zero now. All right, so zero degrees. Everything is pretty much frozen up. Winter storm Jared, I think is what they said, or what they're calling this thing. Um, I know in Iowa, it's way into the negatives. Last night it was like negative 10 um, at 10 o'clock, but uh, so it's gotta be way worse right now. Hey guys and welcome to another of switching to plan B. We're here on this glorious day, <laughs> freezing cold uh, Morgan Field day. Uh, it's a little bit rainy. Um, we are taking the Green Ghost and the Red Raider and we're getting new tires on the Raider. We're going to be driving a little bit. Right. We're also trying something that we haven't tried before. The teenagers are in front of us driving. Ha! Huh? This should be interesting. Great. I just pulled out in front of somebody. Great. Unfortunately, my contract got canceled, so we're heading to Florida. Going to flow. It's going only 30 degrees here, and it's rainy and cold and wet, and we're kind of tired of it. So we're going to go warm up a little bit. I guess it's 70 degrees. So, so we may head to Santa Rosa Beach and maybe maybe don't tell the kids this we might even go to key west but um our major plans is to clean out our storage unit there um kind of sell some stuff hopefully that'd be cool because we have too much stuff all over the place and it's just kind of crazy to have it everywhere we're minimalists we don't need crap stuff just it's just it's stuff we don't need stuff. It's hard to travel with stuff. Um, and some people will ask, do we have a plan? Yes and no. 
part of the fun of, of doing what we do is being able to just go. Just kind of pick a spot on the map and go. What are you trying to get his attention for? Can you text him and tell him to turn his headlights on? Yeah. Well, we were kind of planning on being here just a little bit longer. Um, things happen, and uh, that's kind of part of being a traveling, of uh, being a traveling nurse is you're not always going to stay the full contract. Um, sometimes the facility brings in other nurses or they hire other nurses, and uh, yeah, we're, yeah, and so we're, and so part of being a traveling nurse is. Um, sometimes you get canceled for one reason or another. It's not necessarily something that you've done wrong. It's just the facility is overstaffed or they can't afford you. So it happens. Um, this time around, we just got canceled a couple weeks early. No big deal. This is why we take that really good money and you stick it away and you save it um, just in case something happens. It's cool for us because uh, the last couple days, it's been really rainy and cold and, and we want to get out of the cold. We want to get back to the coast. Um, or it snowed a couple days ago. Snowed and ice. Yeah, we got horrible. like six or six, we got six inches of snow. We did not. Yeah, we did. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Six and it inches. melted that night, but ice was on top of that though, it, or yeah. under it, or something. It was horrible. I didn't. We just don't like the cold, and this is nuts. So came came at perfect time. Um, we're kind of getting antsy. Got to want to get on the road again. Go explore some more places and uh, live. Live. So we get to do it. So, what do the kids think about it? They're excited. They're so excited. It's they're they're loving it. They're ready to get back to the RV and do our thing. And that's kind of cool about this time around is we were able to rent a three bedroom double wide trailer for really really cheap none of the other um, campsites or RV places are open this time of year here in Kentucky so we've been able to get homey out of storage do some work on it um, remodel it a little bit to kind of help to make the kids a little bit more comfortable when we finally do get back into it and uh, so it's been kind of nice been kind of cool to spread out a little bit and uh, get some work done on it. Yeah. So what are the, some of the things that we've done on it? We added we wanted a ladder for her bunk area, so we added a ladder to it. Um, what else have we done? So we ladded, added a, <laughs> so we added a ladder. We moved a bunch of shelving around. So now the kids kind of have their own shelves in their own bunk area. Um, we're getting a couple TVs, personal TVs for them. Um, we improved their privacy. Um, we've, we built some curtains. What else have we done? Oh yeah, we've taken down some, kind of some gross looking... Oh, the Valances. Yeah, the Valances. They were bad. They, they were so horrible. But, I mean, yeah, we've, we've had the RV for what a year almost a year yeah. okay whoa that was cool yes um for almost a year and we've waited to do wow wow look at all that flooding yes that's that's insane that's kind of what we're talking about we want to get out of here <laughs> we <wanna> get, <laughs> so on the travel nursing front let's go on our rant so, travel nurses, protect your license if the facility looks bad. Well, as a travel nurse, we go into facilities that usually have staffing problems. It's one of those things, that's why they have agency in, or so they call it, that's why agency is there. That's why they pay you so well, because you, you go into a facility that's chaotic and you try to make, make sense of the chaos slide in do your job take care of people yeah don't go in and try to change the world yeah they're that way because they don't like to change just go in just go do your job um but on that front if, if it's not in your contract save yourself and don't do it but be polite and saying hey that's not in my contract 
if you find something in your that's that you kind of question if it's outside of your contract talk to your recruiter find out if that's your recruiter or your company and find out if that's uh if they're doing something kind of shady or if they're doing something right um sometimes yeah. the facility may have you do something just because they have nobody else to do it and they're paying you a lot of money they're paying you maybe double what they're paying their other nurses so they think you should do double the work not cool not cool at all check with your uh recruiter make sure it's all kosher sometimes the recruiter will have your back sometimes they won't sometimes you're mistaken sometimes the facility is mistaken now if it's not in your contract and your recruiter doesn't have your back and your agency doesn't have your back or the company then it's probably time to move on and find another recruiter with another agency because your license is very important it's you not always a good off. idea to just walk out of a contract but sometimes to protect your license to protect uh protect you sometimes it's best to just move on yeah. but ultimately if you if it says one thing in your contract go with what's in writing if your pay is not don't stick around. If some company is, if you're working your butt off and they promise you something and, <clears throat> and then they don't follow through with what they told you that they were going to pay you, there is no reason to stick around. None at all. You work your tail off for what you're making. Yeah, it's a big world and it's healthcare's, nursing and healthcare in general isn't easy. But it's, it's rewarding. Be honest, be reputable. And have a good time. I mean, because uh, all the places that I've been so far, eh, I've had a good time. I've met amazing people, amazing patients, and um, it's been good. I've learned a lot at each place. With that, we will see you next time. Thank you, guys. Needless to say bye. Needless to say bye. Bye. bye.